All right, what is he doing? All right, gang, we're starting over again. My game actually froze. So I started over there at the cathedral and I looped all the way around. I'm not sure what's going on with my computer, but it is what it is. So for now, we're gonna go to this tower. So let me just show you. I started here, I looped around. I had died, so I grabbed my runes. I came up here. There was a Bloodhound Knight, and I think he's still in there, actually. Oh, nope, he's dead. So it saved my kill, because I did kill him. Let me see what crest is that on the back. Hard to tell. Either way, the Bloodhound Knight is still dead. Eternal Darkness. Let's see what this does. Uh... It. Oh, there it is. Creates dark space that draws in spells. So it's kind of an absorption technique. Forbidden sorcery of Celia, town of sorcery. Hmm. Originally a lost sorcery of the eternal city, the despair that brought about its ruin made manifest. So that to me that kind of indicates that a black hole brought about the ruin of the nocturnal city or the eternal city. I don't know. And I'm, I'm going to be paying very close attention to the frames and how this is running just to see how everything goes. Cuz the game is definitely skipping and I have no idea why. I have no idea. This guy's been killing jars. Look at all these dead jars. Well, I'll get revenge for Alexander. Peace. Now all we need to do is go down here and, and talk to what's his face again. So I'm actually just going to travel here and save some time. I can't remember if I killed the dragon that's in this area or not. Because there's definitely a Scarlet Rot Dragon back that away, but I can't remember if I killed it or not. Anyway, let's go talk to Gowry. Because I believe we need to go back to him for this quest. Oh, I didn't even have to do that. I could have jumped down from there. But I didn't know, I didn't know. It is what it is. Got the guard dog. I don't see Gowry, but I see Millicent. Gowry's gone, and he took his chair with him. 
I don't blame him, he's old. Oh, hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me, so I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find someone here, but I've only found emptiness. Perhaps before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Okay. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. So I think that's it, but I don't know where she's going. Either way, now that we have another legendary sorcery, we need to go back to Sorceress Selen. And I believe she is still in the ruins, if I'm not mistaken. She should still be there. Alright. She's still here, baby. Let's see what she has to say. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? I know where Lusat is. Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice and a kindred spirit. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please, take it. Okay, we just got more starlight shards, which I never use, so... This brings us don't a know what step to do with closer. those. The bodies of Masters, Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. Wretched shackles. You wish to resume the land deed. What does she mean? If I rest, what happens? She's still there. So I need to see what she says about her sh supposed are, shackles. Apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Huh. She doesn't say anything. Mm. Let's see. All right, well, I don't know what else to do for a quest, so I guess I'll just have to move on. All right, we're back. You're probably wondering where I am. I'm in the hidden path to the Halic tree, actually. There's, uh, when I first came here, I remembered that the beast eye was quivering. So I knew for a fact I didn't do everything there was to do here. So that's why we're back gotta figure out why the beast eye was quivering so that we can you know figure out where to go next essentially um, but anyway we need to figure out a way forward essentially
Silver Scarab, what is that? Might be a talisman, at least what a, that's my initial thought, it could be a talisman. Let's check it out. Where are the talismans at? Yeah, it raises item discovery, that's what I thought. Okay. Don't necessarily need that, because I'm not particularly farming for anything, but it is what it is. Uh, now which way do we go? There's a vulgar militia man down there. And he seems to be walking on the floor, which is pretty crazy. Oh, goodness. Excuse me. That's, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, that's not going to work. Clearly. Clearly it's not going to work. Hmm. Well, there's a candle here, which seems to indicate that you can walk on the path. And then... There's a candle here as well, so maybe that means you can walk along this invisible path. So he is, uh... If I walk out here... Uh, <laughs> this is kind of scary. Do I just go straight? There's absolutely no visual indicators either. Huh. Okay, that didn't work. Useless. Oh, I know what I can do. Oh, he's actually coming out of here. That's a brave man right there. Oh, I can't summon anybody. I was gonna see if I could summon in like a, whatchamacallit. Wow, that's a lot of blood. Let's grab this sacramental bud. Any illusory walls or anything? No, no, no. Okay. So I guess I have to go back out this way. This doesn't necessarily help me. There's items and a drop down over there. So looks like I need to go that way, but I don't know the exact path I should be walking upon. Let's see, let's think for a minute. You know what, I got it. I can use arrows. Completely forgot about that. I can use the bow and arrow. Keep that, so I can stay medium load at the very least. Okay. Huh? 
Okay, the path goes down. What the heck? I was about to say, if he knocks me off, I'm gonna be pissed. That was a bad move. Uh, should be a straight shot from here. Oh, there's a guy in here. Alright. Okay, that's not the way. Hero's room. Can I jump down? I'm not seeing anywhere to jump down. Giant land octopus is right there. Very susceptible to bleed, I see. All right. That, hmm, that one seems larger than normal. Are they fighting each other? Is that what's happening? That appears to be what's happening. They're fighting each other a lot. Oh, shield. Who the hell killed me? Okay, at least I know where to go. <sighs> at least I know where to go now. Okay, I know what to do. This should be the way up forward, yeah. As long as I know where to go now, I'm good. Oh, that was a nice jump. Oh, I lost all those runes. That was a lot of runes I just lost. Oh my goodness. Why did I stop the fight? Why did I stop the fight? Whatever. Now that we have no runes, we have nothing to lose. So we can just go we just go hard. Don't gotta worry about dying well I do have to worry about dying but got him so success There we go. Now let's see who's gonna follow me down here. Who has the best path pathfinding? Okay. Clearly you have the best pathfinding. Good job. Actually. <gasps> Shite! Shite! Ah, aggro and too many enemies.
Oh, what the heck? What does that do? I don't get what it does. That was terrible. No, Taker's Flame is way better. Please, please stop, please. That's not how you get the top one. Yeah, take, take her slime is way better than that. Let's go ahead and pull this lever. Heavy door somewhere has opened. Okay. I thought I was dual wielding still, apparently not. And this is the last area. Alright, you guys. Forget you guys. Ah, uh, student of Garak, eh? But he ain't teach you what he taught me. Any hidden walls? Just want to be sure. Guess not. Okay, we have two options. I guess one is the boss and one is some unknown area here. Is there a drop down? No. I'm gonna assume that's a shortcut then. Actually, let me go up just to confirm and make sure it actually is a shortcut. Cause I don't wanna have to run through all that again. Let me just let me just be on the safe side. Ah. Okay. Spell Drake Talisman plus two. Where does this go to? Oh, I, I, I don't know where that goes, so I'm just going to ignore it. do it let's do it let's take care of the boss I thought there was supposed to be some death route somewhere if the beast I was quivering that means there should be death route but I don't see, haven't found any yet maybe the boss is a enemy of death
I'll hit it with the Taker's Flame of Death. Oh, me? Clearly. Oh, what? Oh! Whack. Hmm, I wonder how Taker's Flame would feel getting hit by that. <laughs> See how hard I hit, but he just wasn't doing a good job. I really wanted to see how hard I would hit. All right, we got Black Flame Monk Ammon. Let's see what he does. Ammon swore. Fealty to the god slaying Black Flame, and so became the first fire monk to turn traitor. Or perhaps it is better said that he fled from the giant's flame out of cowardice. Huh. So he was a fire monk, but became a monk of the god slayers. Death Root. That was the death route. Disgusting. Oh, blood comes out of these things. That is a interesting detail I've never actually noticed before. If this is the reality of Earth Tree burial, like all things return to the Earth Tree, like this is, yeah, it's kind of gross. If you think about where the Earth Tree is, like drawing its nutrients from. Just the the dead of the lands between. And here we are, back at the consecrated snowfield. We're back, baby. So there's that, but I have no idea how to solve that, so forget it. I believe I killed all those guys. Um there's this, so I'm just going to set a, no, I'll place a beacon there and I'll travel here. And I'm pretty sure I'm missing something with those ruins in the consecrated snowfield, but I, yeah, yeah it's whatever, honestly. It's whatever, I'm just, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, my beacon's this way. Off we go to new territory. I think the weirdest thing is that it keeps respawning, even though I've already killed it multiple times. That's just odd to me, but. That could be more of a immersion thing that's just messing with me. Smithing stones. Yeah, this is just another mining cave. Tell you what. I'm going to skip most of it because it's just a mining cave. I'll restart when we get to the boss. All right, so we're back. Um, we found the door and this is the main gate to the boss, I'm assuming. Couple things about this cave. It has somber smithing stone nines and so smithing stone eights. The thing with the smithing stones in this cave is they don't give off the faint glow that some of the previous caves that I've done like this have so 
you really have to be paying attention if you want to see the upgrade materials. Like you really just kind of have to like go up to certain rocks and try it. Like, but once you figure out what they kind of look like, it'll be easy to spot them. It's just they don't stand out at first. So it took me longer than usual because I had to do a backtrack throughout this cave because I realized like, wait, I'm missing a ton of upgrade materials just because they don't look how they normally do. So like right here, I left this example. This is one of the smithing stone eights. And if you know, if you're like kind of zooming through here, it's going to look like a regular old, uh, one of these regular old stalagmites or stalactites or whatever, whatever you call it. What? What the heck? This is different. Okay. I was not expecting this level of boss here. And the game is like slowing down right now. That tail goes way farther than I thought. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> Close range is the game. Let's do it. Also, there are a ton of alabaster lords in this cave. Well, not a ton. There are two. So if you look over there, that's the gravity portal or black hole that he's in. If I walk over there, he's going to spawn. So I'm not going to do that. Damn. Alright, first I gotta find my runes. Then we'll tackle the big daddy. Uh, okay. <laughs> this sucks. He's not very uh, close range. Friendly boss here. Let me back up. Back up DSS. That was a nice move. That was uh Oh Lordy Lordy. You're very nice. His body makes... <sighs> He's gonna be hard. And it's not gonna be hard because I don't do any damage. It's gonna be hard because of the way he moves and his size. So I'm gonna have to like play awkwardly with my finger like off to the freaking side. Ah, uh, crap. I need to figure out who would be best for this guy. He got wrecked.
on, come on, come on. Alright, what is he doing? Uh, no! Huh? Oh my gosh, I don't get this boss. <laughs> Oh man, this dude is tough. Here comes the tail. Are you dead ass? Man? Okay, I think I know how to dodge it now. There's a tail on his torso, actually. Wow, man. Stagger! Stagger! There we go. Alright, moderate. Alright, I need him to uh, stay close to the. Yeah, there we go. What's happening? Where's the real one? Where's the real one? Where is it?
There's no way he's shooting me here on himself. Oh, he's a poor one. Alright, Estelle, this is it. Yeah, let's go. What a beast, man. If I was a sorcerer, that battle would be way more worth it than it actually was, but I'm not. Check out the spell. Meteorite of Astel, a manifestation of the power with which Astel leveled the Eternal City. So this guy destroyed the Eternal City. And sucks for them. Well, actually. We'll call it here. GG's. Good fight. I lost a lot of runes. And I wasted one rune arc because I died instantly. And I learned that Latina sucks because she gets one shot. So, yeah. Peace out.